Hello, family. Here's today's message in a nutshell. Today, I want to talk to you about repentance. When we say the word repentance, many people immediately stick their heels in the ground. Many people have the image that repentance is something hard to do. Some of us have the image of a person, a preacher, standing at the street corner saying, repent! <laughs> so a lot of people, when they think about that, if you're told to repent, it would be difficult not to get offended. What do you mean repent? New Covenant repentance, though, is actually a good thing. New Covenant repentance is different from Old Covenant repentance. New Covenant repentance leads to life. It leads to freedom. It leads to blessing. In fact, the Bible says that it's the grace of God, the kindness of God, the grace of God that leads us to repentance. So in the New Covenant, God gives us grace in order to repent. Now, the, the New Covenant Greek word for repentance really is something different than the Old Covenant word. The Old Covenant word for repentance means to change your direction or to turn around. New Covenant repentance really means something totally different. It means to change your mind or to renew your mind. So therefore, like in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, when the Bible talked about renewing the mind, the Bible says that if we renew our minds, that we'll know the will of God and that we'll be equipped to do the will of God. That's New Covenant repentance. So the Holy Ghost convicts us. He doesn't condemn us. He convicts us through His Word. He convicts us through the Holy Ghost. And that conviction shows us that we, that we need to think differently about things. And we need to renew our mind concerning things. And as we renew our mind, and we see things differently, and we see the Lord differently, and we see ourselves differently, and, and we, we learn how to deal with our enemies in a different way. We learn how to speak correctly, and make confessions according to our faith, and to live by faith and not by circumstances, how to walk in the Spirit. Really, as we learn how to do that and we renew our mind, we're putting on the mind of Christ, and that's what New Covenant repentance is. So therefore we have conviction, Holy Ghost conviction, that leads to the renewal of the mind, which is new covenant repentance, which leads to life and freedom and blessing. So therefore, repent and live and be blessed in Jesus' name. Well, that's today's message in a nutshell. We hope you enjoyed that, and we hope that that makes a difference in your life. God bless you, and have a blessed week, each and every one of you. Aloha.